Well, NASCAR is finally returning from the Olympic break as NASCAR returns to Richmond Raceway, the second trip of the season with a little twist with the option tires. So let's go ahead and preview the race at Richmond Raceway, the Cookout 400. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. So I hope everybody enjoyed the Olympic break. I personally enjoyed it myself. I enjoyed watching the Olympics. The United States have been doing very, very well so far. Not quite finished with the Olympics yet, but the Olympic break for NASCAR is over on Sunday. Richmond, personally, one of my favorite racetracks, my home track. First race I ever went to was at Richmond Raceway. It's a good vibe there. It's really fun there. And I hope all the campers are having all the campers out there are having a good time at Richmond Raceway and also be safe. It sounds like the there is a tropical storm coming through Richmond Raceway on Friday. Could possibly affect some of the events on Saturday. It sounds like probably not, unless there's some lingering storms behind the tropical storm. Like I mentioned at the top, Richmond Raceway is gonna have a little bit of a twist this time as they're doing something that they did in the all-star race while having the two different sets of tires you have your prime tires which are the usual tire but then you have the option tire which is actually made out of the same rubber as the wet weather tire but without the grooves in it like the wet weather tire so the way it's going to work for the race at richmond raceway First of all, the prime tire will be looking the exact same as the tires do every week. Black tire with the yellow writing on the side, while the option tire will actually be red writing. And they'll also have the wet weather tires there if needed, which will be white. So with them actually introducing something new, essentially, they did do this in the all-star race, but has never been part of a points race. And it's a new track for this system. They did it at Wilkesboro, so now they're doing it at Richmond. So they decided to give us a full practice, which I'm personally a big fan of. And I would think most of the race teams and drivers are a big fan of as well. And during this practice, each race team will get a set of the prime tires and a set of the option tires to use as they please. And then in qualifying, each race team will have to use a set of prime tires for their qualifying run and if they choose they may carry those tires over to the race as a seventh set so then for the race like i said the prime tires they will have seven sets six fresh sets plus your qualifying set but then they'll also have the softer compound the option tire there will be two sets of tires but if they end up having to use the wet weather tires this will throw all this out the window pretty much. So essentially the softer tires would be a little bit quicker on the short run, but would also fall off quicker than the other tires. We'll have to see how they react with the track surface because I feel like throughout this year we've learned so much about tires. I thought I knew a decent amount about tires in NASCAR and it seems like after this year, I've learned a lot more going into this year. Apparently, I didn't know Jack about tires in NASCAR. I, I assume temperature definitely played a factor in tires, but it plays a lot bigger of a factor than I guess we, and me personally, I guess should say, thought. So we'll have to see how these tires react at Richmond Raceway. All right, now let's discuss the race itself. It's been no secret over the last maybe, let's say, 20 years, Richmond Raceway has not produced the greatest on-track activity. The greatest racing? No. Richmond Raceway has been one of the very few, if not the only, short track that has produced, I'd say, a lot of strategy. You see a little bits of strategy at Bristol and Martinsville, but Richmond, it's done a little bit differently 
and we'll have to see how these drivers do strategy if we do get in to these long green flag runs and when they decide to use those two sets of option tires. Unlike most short tracks, Richmond is kind of like a multi-groove track. I would say the bottom line is still the better line, but if you have more speed than the driver in front of you, you can use the middle to the middle high line. Some drivers have actually been able to find more speed up there compared to the bottom line. I guess it overall depends on your driving style, but most of the speed is on the very bottom of the racetrack at Richmond Raceway, it being a three-quarter mile D-oval. One thing I would really expect at Richmond Raceway, anytime we get a restart, I expect it to get pretty crazy because like I said, Richmond Raceway tends to have longer green flag runs than most short tracks. But Richmond is also one of those tracks where cautions breed cautions. If there is some late race activity, I would expect caution after caution if there's something that happens in those last maybe 40, even maybe 50 laps. All right, now let's get to some of the favorites for Richmond Raceway. I, there's, obvious, there's obvious picks. You have the Hendrick Motorsports Bunch and the Joe Gibbs Racing Bunch. I expect all eight of those drivers to be somewhat contenders for the win. I think that goes without saying, but if I'm going to if I'm going to highlight some drivers out of Joe Gibbs Racing and Hendrick Motorsports to win this event, when I look over at Joe Gibbs Racing, I'm obviously going to say Denny Hamlin and Martin Truex Jr. as well. Martin Truex Jr. has a lot of speed and success here at Richmond Raceway. It's also kind of his uh, his kryptonite track it seems like He's been so close to winning so many races here and something always happens. It even happened earlier this year. We saw his post-race activity on the racetrack going after Denny Hamlin and Kyle Larson after the checkered flag was in the air because he had completely dominated that race and essentially the race got stolen from him in a way. So I would expect those two to be huge contenders. I would also expect... Kyle Larson to be one of the big contenders for the win as well as he is pretty much everywhere we go, but he's been doing some stuff during the Olympic break, some pretty impressive stuff that 21st to first in, I think it was, wasn't, I think it wasn't, I think it was in high limit, might have been, no, actually, no, I think it was in World of Outlaws, I might be mistaken, I think it was actually in World of Outlaws. Very impressive. Kyle Larson just continues to impress no matter what. And another driver I would definitely keep an eye on when it comes to Hendrick Motorsports is Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott's been strong all season long. Also, he has Coca-Cola on this car this week with Hooters being gone now. Somebody had to fill the void. It ended up being Coca-Cola. So I'm interested to see how that works for Chase Elliott at Richmond. I'd say it's one of his better tracks, not one of his best, but it's a good track for him. I would also definitely take a look at both 2311 drivers, Tyler Reddick and Bubba Wallace. Both of them had a lot of speed here earlier in the year. Bubba Wallace led a bunch of laps here earlier in the year at Richmond. So I would definitely keep an eye on both of them. Overall, I would really keep an eye out on underdogs. I think this might be a big week to bet on your crew chief because it really depends on how you use these option tires on who's going to win and who's going to lose this race. So uh, automatically what comes to mind, another favorite I could probably say is Ryan Blaney. Him and Hassler seem to work really well together, so I would definitely keep an eye out for Ryan Blaney as well. But I would keep an eye out for really any of these underdogs that are really desperate for a win that could have decent speed, like Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch, I could see him running top 15 and and Randall Burnett decide to play some sort of strategy to get him the victory and it ends up working out. It really depends on how these tires work. We're going into a lot of unknown here, so there's a good chance... I wouldn't say it's like a 50-50, but there's a better chance this week 
than most weeks that a huge underdog like a Kyle Busch, like a Carson Hosevar, like a Ricky Stenhouse Jr., one of these drivers could steal a victory in Richmond. All right, now to get into my pick and then my underdog pick afterwards. My pick to win this race, it's a no-brainer It's a no -brainer for me. G give me a second. Dennis the Menace. I, it's an Denny Hamlin. It's it's a no brainer for me. I think it's I think this is maybe my fourth time picking him this year. I picked Toyota a lot this year. Oh my gosh, when I think about it, I picked Toyota a lot this year. But they're fast. Toyota is fast, and Denny Hamlin has always been so great at Richmond Raceway. One of the best drivers to ever race at Richmond Raceway, and he's looking to collect. Another victory. I really was debating between him and Truex. But ultimately, my pick has to be Dennis the Menace. Denny Hamlin getting the win on Sunday. Adding another win to his already fantastic season. And who is my underdog pick? I would have to say it's Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace was so strong here earlier on in the year. But Bubba Wallace has had... I'd say an up and down season, but these last couple of weeks he's looked, last couple of races, last couple of weeks we've been off, last couple of races he has looked pretty strong in that number 23 is, I think had a really, a real big uptick on speed and Richmond Raceway, it looks to be one of his better tracks now. I think at one point he said he really didn't like Richmond, he really struggled there. But the last couple of times we've been there, he's shown a lot of speed. So I would say he's my underdog pick. But like I said earlier, I think there's a lot of different underdogs that can compete for this win if the right call is made when it comes to these option tires. It's just something we're going to have to watch out for all race long. But give me your thoughts down below. What do you think about NASCAR doing the option tires in a points race at Richmond Raceway. And who is your pick to win? Are you going to pick one of the favorites that I mentioned potentially? Or are you feeling an underdog? This is a good weekend to pick underdogs. I'm going to be definitely putting at least 50 cents or a dollar on a lot of drivers this weekend. Also, if you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace.